example, we can take a look at a polymer optimization experiment within the Dotmatic Studies ELN. In this example, the experiment has already been created. By clicking on the experiment, we can see the experimental information page and we can identify all of the key metadata for this experiment. From the formulations tab, we can also see the materials that have been selected. Each of the ingredients listed, selected by the end user, is linked to the batch of that material which comes directly from the inbuilt chemicals inventory. In this example, we have got five different formulations where the quantity of the vinyl material is being modified. Once the scientist has performed the task, they can also create samples. For example here, selecting sample number one, I can visually see what samples have been created and I can see that a sample of each of the materials has already been created. Once the samples have been created, the scientist can then choose to perform tasks on them. They can make requests. In this occasion, they can neither perform the task themselves or make a request from a colleague. So the created samples have been selected and sent off to a colleague to perform some DSC testing. Once the analysis has been performed, the end user has the ability to gather that information and store it back into their ELN. In the Documents tab, a direct link to open the Bybright Cloud application is available in the ELN experiment. In this case, Dotmatic 7 is the instrument I'm interested in, and I'm interested in getting the data from this folder here. We see the Excel file appearing directly into the experiment that I chose. And in addition, all of the, the data within this Excel file has been parsed and stored directly within the database, along with the file itself. On the DSC tab, we can see all of this information. Here, we've got some visualizations showing the DSC traces of the information from the file. Here on the right hand side, we can see each of the samples that were tested and an overlay of the DSC curves of each. In this particular example, we can see the sample number two in red has a leftward shift in the DSC trace. This may well be a positive or a negative result for this particular experiment but it allows the end user to visually analyze the results and then annotate the results within the formulations experiment. So in this case, I can take a step to the formulations tab, select from formulation two, and then I can make comments. To allow auditing of this information and allow perhaps completion and closure of a given sample.